Welcome back YouTube. Uh, in this video, I want to do an update and look at the price of Bitcoin here and compare it to what's happening with uh, with Dogecoin because sometimes people are saying that, oh, well, Bitcoin is over 71,000 or over 70,000. That means Dogecoin should be running and they're not looking at the bigger picture of what is actually happening to Bitcoin and why and, and not just Dogecoin, but the entire market is trending sideways here, on, even on the signal. So let's take a look here. The big thing here, before we take a look at any other coin, I want you to focus on the peak here, which is right around like 73 and look at what's happened since then, right? Um, let's see, I wanna take a look here. Look at roughly right around here. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna put a line here so you can kind of get an idea. This here, is not even uh, well. It's not. I'm not say it's not close. It's relatively close, but it's about two thousand, about fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars lower than the actual peak. But Bitcoin is consistently retesting this high, right? Bumping its head. I don't even know how many times. Um, is this a quick count? There, I got fifteen. Um, I'm sure it's more, even if we looked at it on a smaller time frame. I'm sure it's even more than that. But this is what we're up against right now. And this is not even giving a reversal trend or anything because technically you can say, oh, this is a double top. This is no, no, it's retesting like every other day. Right. So this is not even a matter of, you know, can it run? Will it run? That doesn't have the uh, potential to go higher. It's, it's testing like every other day. And even when we had the, the, uh, the pullback here, we went down to, um, what was that, the lowest, around like 57, immediately picked back up, like it started making up for multiple days on the downside. Look at the candles here uh, running to the upside here from 64, within two days, back at 70,000, um, a lot of the pushback here down at 57, within three days, back at 64, back down to 60. One day back up to 66,000, four days later back up to 70,000. So, this is the retest here. This is so I imagine something is going. This is what I made the video and I was talking about the, the political aspect and with the rejection here of the institutions owning crypto. I imagine for them to put a lot of capital as far as for the market, that's going to be a determining factor. Um, as far as for when that capital comes in and how much um, this is what we're looking at here because they're not no one's selling right it's it's more so you'll see swapping um, you can even we can get evidence of that even with dogecoin here uh, you'll see uh, like some swapping going on even when we talked about shorts and the longs we're having this sideways movement here right same thing here with around that 17 cent mark since on the peak we've been bumping our heads ever since and even coming up to getting the golden cross, right? Merging into the 72 and now going parallel with it. Um, we, even before we have the confirmation of even crossing it with a uh, with conviction here, we have the sideways movement, lower volume. And I believe this is going to be resolved um, once we get some concrete data as far as for where or when they're going to be uh, able to store some of the, uh, the crypto here. Because I believe that they want to be able to possess some of the actual crypto and not just trade uh, on paper, right? I believe that they want to have a controlling point or um, at least take possession of the uh, the assets here. And I believe that that's what is kind of necessarily you know, slowing down uh, this, uh, this run here because ultimately, yes, the coins ran early. Yes, we're maintaining those. And that's why I can come to that conclusion because it's not a sell-off, right? You would think that with these many retests with Bitcoin and with Doge, you would think that this would mean, oh, okay, well, we have to go and grab some liquidity lower. It's like, no, we're just gonna hold our positions and we need this to go through, right? We want our, before we invest, before you see that big influx of institutional capital, um, we need to make sure that we're able to take possession here. That's what we want to going forward because after this, we can say, okay, yeah, the market's going to expand. Yes, institutional, uh, or excuse me, yes, retailers, or more retailers are going to come in, more retailers are going to take possession, and the institution is going to say, hey, the only thing we can do to make money is off of transactions and ETFs. And no, we want to actually hold 
some of the assets that we're investing in. So um, I think that's really what we're looking at going forward. So ultimately, what we're looking at, matter of fact, let's take a look at our shorts. I want to, you know, yesterday we had a big spike here with Doge. Let's see how that's going. Um, not much on the point down point 40 on the day. So still holding that short position didn't increase it really. Um, not very little changes here, but still a, um, a interesting move. Uh, I'll say the least because we still, despite that position, the price hasn't changed that much. So even with the, uh, the volume coming in or the volume being somewhat lower than it was around a month ago, these assets are still holding. This is what I believe uh, is going on. But when I said that, um, I believe the institutions are waiting to get the green light to be able to hold assets is because they are uh, still holding their positions. They're not swapping out. They're not running out. They're just simply holding and uh, waiting on some legislation, in my opinion. We're going to let's take a look at Bitcoin shorts because that'll be telling as well. Let's see if they have a spike. Somewhere point well three point four five percent not a significant increase at all especially for Bitcoin um, so yeah so they don't believe Bitcoin is going to tank and they're not even trying to even curb price action here um, so we can't even use a theory for that for uh, similar to what's going on with Doge Yeah, and this is um, another point that I wanted to bring up is when we looked at the previous chart uh, for Bitcoin with the 14 and the 72, we did do something similar to this for about nine days. Now, ultimately, uh, this is Dogecoin signal because the 14 and the 72, even if we look at more total market cap, they're trending sideways and they're riding on the 14. So even in those that have already had the golden cross, they are not reversing or giving a signal to um, have it inverted or do a death cross or anything. They're simply just maintaining the lines. And this is where Doge is because they're maintaining the lines. Doge is similar, similar uh, maintaining the lines here between the 14 and the 72 and just kind of riding right underneath the, um, the 72 here. And what we're looking at is the, the timing to say, OK, well, when are these signals going to, when is that capital as far as going to come in? When is this signal here for Doge? When we're going to get that swoosh to the uh, the upside here, possibly somewhere around 16.4, 16.5 now. Um, and ultimately, we have the moves coming up. Technically, we can say we have, uh, historically, we have somewhat of a move in like June some and a little bit of a pullback early July and late July, August is typically really good months. But as far as one of the short term frame, we should be seeing an ascension here uh, gradually to uh, the upside. That typically is uh, when, when I mentioned um, the late June and late July and August, I'm talking about bigger movements. Those are typically bigger months. Um, September is typically bad for the market overall. It's the triple witching. A lot of the option contracts expire. It's a big turnover in the market. September is normally bloody. But outside of that, in the short term calories, so typically good months for uh, the uh, the assets to run. So I believe that we're going to have a mention here somewhat soon of the political aspect as far as being able to take custody. And then I also wanted to kind of gauge what's going to happen here with a lot of the shorts and GameStop. Now, the biggest thing for me is because I noticed that last time when we were Direct Toronto 2020, 2021 with the whole AMC GameStop thing went at the peak. The crypto market did feel the effect of that. Why? Because the same people that are looking to put money in institutions, especially on the institutional side, they are typically the ones that hold or at least are sponsoring a lot of the short positions. So when you have a different sector that's bleeding, you may want to either hey, a hold off as far as from uh, taking on additional investments or b use funds from somewhere else to try and stop the bleeding or if you have to because you've been liquidated then of course you'll have to make those decisions so that's something I, i'm very interested to see as well i know uh just putting it out there i know Roy kitty is going to do a live tomorrow i believe at noon that's going to be very interesting um i expect we'll have some definite answers around monday tuesday leading up to um the uh the powell speech uh, just kind of more of like on a macro side 
but I but know that those are typically some things that we've seen in the past affect crypto. So that is um, what I'm thinking as far as what's going on right now. But overall, the signals, um, the even the positions that we're in, as far as for the uh, the sideways movement, none of that has uh, detoured from anything from that, that we've seen before. These are all trends that have happened before, even on previous runs, um, as I mentioned. We've seen these here after crossing the 1472 back here on Doge. We had the sideways movement uh, for about a week, and then we had the climb on uh, Bitcoin. I'm just going to go over this really quickly, just in case this is your first video you've seen. Um, let's see. Uh, right here, we had the 14 to 72. This is roughly nine days back here in October that we went sideways. And then, of course, we had that explosion afterwards. So, it's, again, it's not an immediate to the upside, but it technically signals the capital coming into the market. So this is why I wanted to have this discussion with everyone, just to kind of get your, but you know what I'm thinking, right? As far as when I see this and uh, putting the uh, the data together, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'd be very interested to hear um, as we get some definite answers tomorrow through like Tuesday. Um, so just kind of let me know what you're thinking and how you're feeling in the comment section. Uh, if you can, please consider subscribing. We are going to uh, make a great effort here to beat Bitcoin to 100,000. Uh, so you can certainly help with that by subscribing to the channel. Leave me a comment, as I just mentioned, so we can have that discussion. I greatly appreciate all of you, and I will see you guys in the next video.